Welcome back to this day. Joining me now from the El Toro Water District is Fred Ajarian. Fred, so nice to meet wow, you. Good morning. Nice to meet <laughs> good you. morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, well, and I understand you are back on the board. You've been on the board previously. Yes. Yes. And, and now you're back, one of the directors on the board again. So. Yes, correct. It's a pleasure to be back. I uh, first was elected to serve on the board in 2014 finished my service, these are four-year terms, uh, in 2018, and then I thought, okay, I'm, I'm finished, uh, for, you know, I get to do, do work for the chief of the household, <laughs> and, uh, but the district called and said, gee, uh, would you like to come back and serve again? So I got appointed uh, in September to fill an unexpired term, and uh, here I am. So, well, congratulations. I'm thank you. I'm delighted to be back and serving on the board and serving our, our customers. What, what is for you? What is the best part about your job and what you do? Um, my being able to satisfy my, my passion for, for community service. Um, I've always been oriented towards community service since I was a, a Boy Scout. Uh, and uh, so we always, anytime we got to complete a project or see uh, uh, something through to completion that benefited our local community, a church, uh, you know, a school or any other organization like that, it was, it was just something very satisfying like yeah. that. And so um, in my career, uh, it just, uh, uh, I tried to take advantage of those opportunities to, to satisfy that, uh, to, you know, to fulfill that, that yeah. passion. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank I like you. that. Thank I like you. that. And, and it comes back and fulfills you, too, that oh, yes. being able to no, serve. Definitely. So today, we are talking about fog. Tell me, what does fog mean? <laughs> well, fog is not like the fog that you wake up to in, in, <laughs> yeah, in the morning. Yeah, not what's sitting out there right now. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a handy little acronym that we call, uh, that we use to describe fats, oils, and grease. Um, fats, oils, and grease is a product of cooking, so no, no, no big mystery there. And it's uh, something that uh, sometimes uh, customers forget that they should really dispose of it, uh, not by putting it down the drain, but by putting it, uh, you know, disposing of it elsewhere. Uh, and uh, a source of, for that fog is any basically any food service establishment, so restaurants, uh, uh, fast foods, uh, dishwasher, fryer drippings, um, and so we just uh, we uh, so uh, that's that's what fog is. Fat okay. Soils and grease. And then and so what's the problems from these products from the fats and the oils and the grease it going down the drain and getting into you know water what is the problem with well, that Well it uh, as the slides show and I always do a double take when I see these slides um, the the fats oils or grease they as they cool going down the drain they solidify and they start to build up on the inside of the pipes um, uh, and so uh, it, it, if it's left unchecked over time, it can actually uh, clog and, uh, or as you see on, on the left, that's a, our typical uh, plastic, uh, plastic PVC pipe that is part of our uh, sewer system. Uh, on the right is a uh, sewer pipe. Uh, it's a valve lid to get access to the valves that isolate the uh, flow of the sewage because in this pipe in addition to the grease you have other sewage related materials so when it cools it creates this mash that unfortunately causes sewer blockages wow yeah that's shocking to see that and how much that can build up oh. and and do that so what's the water district's role in in helping to prevent this problem well, we um, basically, we have to comply with the state of California uh, Water Resources Control Board. They control anything to do with water quality, water supply, and water resources. In this case, um, we manage a, f a fog program to help control that uh, uh, the fog-related incidents. Um, we are very proactive. We do uh, uh, over 150 uh, restaurant and other food service establishment inspections each and every year. 
And we uh, check to see that the restaurants are using best management practices. In other words, that as they <clears throat> acquire the grease from cooking everyone's favorite foods like French fries and hamburgers and ooh, the bacon, uh, love, the, <laughs> love the bacon, that they dispose of that grease properly. And there are um, grease interceptors that are, should be used by the restaurants uh, to capture that grease. Um, so uh, we, um, yeah, the grease interceptor devices, uh, those we will inspect as part of our inspection program. And we also, every food service establishment has to have a fog permit. You cannot operate any f type of eatery without a fog permit. You try to operate some, a food place, uh -uh, you can't do it until you get a permit from us. Okay. Because we're on the hook to the state of California to maintain that, um, the uh, uh, integrity of the system. Okay. What about um, maintenance? What does the El Toro Water District do in maintenance? Uh, we have a crew that goes out and um, inspects the uh, uh, sewer system. Now, keep in mind, uh, Bobby, we have a sewer system that's 158 miles long. That's one of those little useless facts that's kind of tucked away up here. And um, so our crews check the system for potential buildups. We have what we call hot spots occasionally, areas where the, the, the fog buildup can be particularly stubborn. Um, we also check for cracks in, in the pipes. We check for tree roots. Tree roots are another problem uh, which can cause or lead to sewer blockages. And so our crews do an annual hydro cleaning. They use a high powered um, uh, tool to uh, high pressure water cleaning that's about uh, 1500 PSI. That's very high pressure. Okay. It just goes through and, and for the most part, through. it pushes everything through and then it gets to our a sewage treatment plant or a water reclamation plant, excuse me. Um, we also do video inspection, which is important because we want to check and make sure that if there are cracks in the pipes that we address that situation right away. You don't want a pipe to remain cracked. Yeah. Um, sewer pipe, interestingly, it's a, we have a mix of um, clay pipe and uh, PVC pipe. Okay. Um, the uh, average age of the system is about 45 years old, so the district's water system in general is not that old. It was first built in the 60s, but we, we still have to maintain and keep up, because if we don't, then we risk um, possible overflows, inspections from the state, and it gets messy quickly. Well, something to note is that there have been no sewer overflows yes. in the collection system for this past year, for yes. 2023. Yes, and we are very happy. Uh, it's just, it's a, we have a crew that does a fantastic job um, when they do their video work and their repairs and updates. And crew will sometimes even see situations where they'll suggest or recommend ways to improve the efficiency uh, of the process, because we basically try to cover about a, a 500,000 feet per year of sewer line. So by the time, it usually takes about two years to go through the entire sewer system, and then we just start over, you know, okay. when we come to the end. Well, and lastly, because we're just about out of time, what, what, how do we, should we dispose of these ingredients at right. home? Right. Um, so people should just uh, scrape the fog off their plates wipe their pan grease with paper towels or any other paper products, pour the, the after, as the grease is cooled, pour it into a container, and also put the um, soiled paper product together with that grease once it's completely cool, uh, put it in, or dispose of it in, your, or in the organic waste receptacle, and that's uh, overseen through the city's uh, recycling and uh, uh, trash collection program. So that way you uh, not only do your part, but for homeowners, there, you'll have fewer phone calls to the plumber if you should 
uh, yeah. by, you, you can help reduce the number of Absolutely. potential blockages just in your own system at home. Well, great. Well, thank you for all this advice. Really oh, great sure. advice. Nice to have you here today. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, if anyone would like any more information about fog, they can go to the El Toro Water District Customer Service at 949-837-0660. Stay with us. We have the Community Bridge Builders coming up right after this.